Hello, and welcome to this video where you'll see the tight integration we've achieved between Microsoft's Office Communicator client and Avaya Aura Communication Services. This is a new packaged application delivered with ACE 2.3, Avaya's Applications Enablement Platform. Here Barry signs into his Microsoft Communicator client. No separate sign-in is required for Avaya. The client can be connected to a Microsoft hosted service or to an OCS 2007 enterprise deployment. The Avaya toolbar allows the user to change call forward settings and select either their desk phone or computer phone for calls. The Avaya Make Voice Call option is embedded in the Microsoft menu. When the call is established, a conversation window pops up offering mid-call controls driven from Avaya. You'll notice the present state changes when Barry makes the call, alerting other users that he is on the phone. The user can also initiate calls by typing in shortcode enterprise numbers or full numbers into the client. The numbers shown for contacting Paul are based on Paul's access level settings he's granted Barry. Paul can change these, should he wish, using native Microsoft functionality. Here you see Paul changing the access level for Barry, from personal access to company level, which removes Paul's mobile and home number from Barry's view. Now, when Barry wants to call Paul, the number presented is Paul's office number only. If an IM session needs to be escalated into a phone call using a via, this can easily be initiated from the IM window. The call state and mid-call control features are presented in the same window as the IM session making it intuitive for the end user in a truly integrated client experience. Now we switch to look at the user experience when receiving calls. Here you see Paul being alerted to an incoming call from Barry by way of a toast pop-up. Paul is in phone mode, so when he accepts the call, the call is set up on the desk phone. The PC conversation window can be used for mid-call controls, hold and retrieve, DTMF for entering into conference calls, and end call. More call control features will be offered in future. Paul's present state changes to inner call so others know he is busy. Calls can also be diverted to another device using the Toast pop-up divert feature. Synchronized call forwarding across the desk phone and Microsoft Communicator client helps the user have complete control of call forwarding settings and avoid unintentional overrides. For example, if Paul has cancelled call forwarding on his desk phone, the application prevents previous settings on Microsoft Communicator from overriding this during sign-in. Now Paul switches modes from desk phone to computer mode to make him receive calls using the PC phone as he's travelling. Computer calls are also established across the Avaya Aura network using Avaya's UC desktop engine. So you've now seen the integrated client experience. Note, unlike previous integrations, no Microsoft Enterprise client access licenses or eCALs are required. Just the standard CAL is required for presence in the IM, drastically cutting the cost of Microsoft licenses required. Existing Avaya Aura infrastructure is leveraged, thereby preserving the existing investment in equipment, reliability and performance. Access to richer via functionality is provided with more call control features and new communication services and integrated applications coming in the near future. Microsoft Communicator add-in is just one in a suite of packaged applications and toolkits available on the Avaya Ace platform for communications enabled business processes and applications. For more information, stay tuned to the Avaya YouTube channel and find out more information at avaya.com. Thank you for watching.